So hello. Here I am in uh, New York City of all places. I've actually been here for the past week uh, working with clients and uh, this is about the quietest place I could find. So I just thought I'd share a little quick excerpt of some of the work that I've done this week with clients. Is uh, One theme that was coming up on a regular basis is this uh, piece of work of um, people ready to take a leap into the unknown but yet holding on like they keep resisting that leap because they don't know what's on the other side and they don't want to let go of what they have so they there's this element of ah, they want to jump they want this new life they want this opportunity to uh, truly experience the joy of the soul just in its bliss, in its purpose, living it. But the problem is, in order to do that, they're like, I have to let go? Let go, do I lose everything? Do When I let go and jump, will I lose everything? Will everything be gone? So uh, I've been sitting with this and, and reflecting on my own journey and remembering that place where I had to leap out of the corporate world uh, at some point and really embody and embrace this this soul's journey of mine into mastery of the self and embodying the teachings through the work that I do um, and there is a leap that must be taken and yet we can be like a squirrel we can be in the moment right here like a squirrel when you watch a squirrel actually here's one right now So, oh, there he goes. He moved after that. Yeah, there he is. Funny, right, when I say that. So when you watch a squirrel, when you watch that squirrel, it's moving around, jumping around, and even when it's coming towards fall like it is now, it's collecting the seeds uh, for the winter for the future for its fruits for its foods for the winter and yet it's in the moment so we can be like the squirrel we can be living moment to moment present with what is this desire for this soul within us this soul's journey to fully expand explode into our purpose and we know there's change to be made and yet at the same time we can be making the provisions needed that safety net, so to speak, the provisions needed to take the leap. So we make the preparation, so we're ready to take that leap out of the job, um, but yet we haven't, we haven't laid the provisions. So we take the steps in the next three, six, 12 months to get everything we possibly can aligned to support us in taking this leap. And then we make a commitment to a point, a day, a time, a month, a year, whatever that point is commit to that day and go for it take the leap and set up whatever you need to make it feel as safe as you possibly can to leap and then there's a part of me that says no matter how much you do in in making things safe the leap is still going to be scary you're going to have to be willing to lose everything and let it all go on the other side, there may be those things, those people, the job, etc., that are still there, and they may not be. <laughs> so it's a scary step, but we can make the provisions needed in order to feel safe enough to take the leap. The key is taking the leap and asking the self, what things do we need in order to take that leap? What support do we need in order to take that leap? And then we jump and then we jump and we do the best we can amidst what we have so this is an invitation for you to decide to clarify what is it that your soul is asking for and what is keeping you from do taking the leap and then take the steps lay the provisions needed and moment by moment 
being in the moment, laying those provisions, so when the time is here, that date is set, you leap. Many blessings.